Well, in order to get women's true thoughts and opinions about men, our cameras followed a group of women as they enjoyed a day at the spa, doing a little man bashing. Take a look. I, I don't get men at all. I don't know. The, my boyfriend, he's playing football, right? And he gets, like, nailed right between the legs, OK? And he's down on the ground blowing snot bubbles, crying like a baby for, like, two hours. I felt so bad for him, but I was like, I... I just don't know why it hurts so much. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a good question. Something women will never understand because if you don't have testicles, you'll never understand why they're so doggone sensitive. Word. Yeah. Oh my <laughs> good. It, yeah. it hurts. Yeah. It hurts so it bad. That you can't breathe. You can't I mean, move. Know. We can't experience childbirth. But you can't experience getting hit in the <laughs> <laughs> So why, Aaron, are testicles so sensitive? Because of nerves. Now, nerves. nerves are like the surveillance system of the body, right? They let us know when the body is in danger or is actually being injured. Right. And the family jewels are just about the most valuable piece of real estate on our body. And vulnerable, too. Extremely vulnerable. <laughs> it's not fair. Women's ovaries get to be tucked away safely inside their pelvis. Sperm are so finicky, it's got to be just the right temperature that they can't be inside. They've got to be two degrees cooler than body temperature. So they've got to hang outside. But they're valuable, right? And it's not just the testicles. It's the epididymis, which are these paper-thin tubes that store the sperm. Mm -hmm. So you've got this surveillance system. You've got nerves that regulate the temperature of the testicles by drawing them in and letting them hang loose. You've got nerves that yank them up out of the way at the first sign of danger, like a lunging dog or a football. Okay? <laughs> you even have nerves that drop your blood pressure, make you vomit, make you sweat, make you do all those things that seem ridiculous, like, oh, how come you can't take the pain? No, we are totally involuntarily at the whim of these nerves. See, there's nerves that run up into this plexus that then envelop all of your guts. Is and that if you why get, if you get hit in the testicles, you feel up. abdominal pain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 exactly. And, and part of the reason over. is that the testicles started up in your abdomen when you were a fetus, and, and they down. descended. And when you're born, they're descended, but those nerve pathways are still there. The best thing, especially if you're a mother out there watching, you have to protect your son's family jewels. So if you're playing or having your sons play any contact sports, this is the good old athletic cup. cup. And uh, it goes just like this. <laughs> No matter what, this is going to repel any a baseball, a football, a knee. So you know, you this can amazing? really save you your child from some major pain. I mean, potentially you can fracture oh, a testicle I've seen it. and you can fracture a penis. Oh, absolutely. Boy. I've seen both. How's that work? Well, wow. the, it doesn't the work. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work at that point. That's what you call a bad day. Yeah. yeah. I, I see I it's see testicle wedding. fractures from time to time. More often than not, it's in martial arts. And sometimes men have a fractured testicle, but they ignore it because they're embarrassed. And that can cause a higher rate of infertility than if it's fixed, fixed more promptly. The takeaway here is our testicles hurt so much when they're injured because we need to protect them. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Protect the family the family jewels, jewels for a reason, Dr. Spitz. Thank you so much.